There is no better way to start your day. All right, guys, I just went ahead and finished eating, and I pretty much started working on my taxes. Now, I know it's kind of early. Taxes is normally towards the end of the year, but I'm trying to already get ahead of it because I'm not trying to get screwed over this year. I've seen a lot of cases where people have been screwed over with taxes. It's better to just be ahead of the game, if you know what I mean. Anywho, let's get downstairs. We have a lot of money. So, we are officially here in the garage. We have the 135. is chilling here like a villain. We're actually going to get this 135 out of here because we're actually working on the F10 in this video. So, on the F10, guys, we finally have what with the last piece that we need to finally get the whole car either paint matte or wrap matte. A lot of you guys have been giving me some colors down below and I went off of some of those colors. Just to put it out there, the two top requested colors were Nardo Gray and I believe some kind of like ocean blue or like Bayside blue. Those are the top two requested colors. Both of those on Metro Restyling are sold out. Even Vivid, the, the, the main company that sells the Nardo Gray wrap is officially sold out. They don't have the wrap, those wraps anywhere so I do need some help on different wraps and like I said guys, if you guys have a wrap idea or a wrap color link it down below so even you know if that wrap is available or not because most of them are just for some reason I think they're selling out and they're not even restocking maybe they get them from overseas I'm not really sure what's going on but a lot of wraps it is not available unfortunately I did find a color that I really liked it is another kind of blue should I just go with that it's a type of blue it's kind of like the ocean bayside vibe should I go with that or do you guys have another maybe a dark purple or something along those lines maybe even a yellow or I don't know again link the wraps down below go to metro reselling Com, pick out the wrap that you guys think is pretty dope link it down below support your man without further ado Let's go ahead and get this car out of the garage get the f10 in here show you guys what we just got in those giant boxes back there Now that we got the car in here looking pretty beautiful and such we do have something that just came in We finally got in the fog lights so we could finally complete this portion of the car fill that in make this thing look complete I also did get that antenna that we ended up breaking so I got a brand new antenna this should just bolt straight on up. The original antenna, I broke this little piece right here, this pink piece. If you guys are ever removing your antenna, be careful with this guy. It is very fragile. It's even moving already, so I'm not even gonna play with it too much. I'm just gonna plug the other one, plug it in, and uh, we'll be good to go. This is from a 750i, but it's the exact same product number as the one that's on my car, so we are good to go on that. And then also, this giant fragile box is the last part that we need to complete this car at least body kit wise before we start wrapping it or painting it and getting into some of the carbon stuff and getting some more performance goodies. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's inside. This is what we're looking at. We have two fenders. We have the fender grills. We have the fender emblems. So uh, these are M5 emblems, so we're not gonna be rocking these. I'm gonna go ahead and look up online if they have like some kind of M performance ones, like the 435 uh, or something like that that we can replace these with. These normally go right here, so we're gonna have to replace that. Also, these are chrome, so I'm gonna be taking it apart. Luckily, it's a two-piece, so we'll take this apart and we'll go ahead and wrap this in black. And to be quite frank with you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be installing this just yet. I might leave it off the car, depending on how hard it is to take on and off, mainly because we're gonna be needing to paint or wrap the car really soon, so it's gonna be a pain if we have to remove the fender again just to remove this so that's that we also have the antenna like we said guys and we also have the brand new fog lights that actually come with bulbs so kind of cool to think that with the price that i paid at least it came with bulbs which is nice links to all these things are going to be down below the fenders from keys motorsports use code nor5 to get five percent off these fenders this is from ebay i don't know if you guys need a really like, link for that and these are from ebay i'll have a link down to this for sure probably even get an amazon link for you guys to be faster that for the let's go ahead and show you guys how this fender looks because i'm pretty stoked all right guys we just got both fenders out so uh yeah that's how they look they just have a huge freaking grill piece there with the line right above it ours has the line obviously this is just a body line but this little thing is just ugly i don't like it bunch of chrome no no bueno so these massive grills with the huge led light it's gonna look so good so without further ado let's go ahead and see how we can remove this fender but yeah guys fenders it, it is one of the more uh time consuming parts mainly because you do have to pop up the hood you have to open the door you have to pop out the side screw you have to remove the bumper so there's a lot of things you have to do to get to replace a fender it's probably one of the most time consuming parts of the car but once you do, you have knocked that portion out and it really changes the vibe of the car. Because yeah, the front's super aggressive. The only thing aggressive on the side right now is now the aggressive side skirt. But if you have an aggressive fender with the aggressive side skirt, it's really gonna pull together this whole side of the car. Especially when we get some carbon fiber mirror cap, maybe some M4 style ones, which would look super good. But anywho, um, let's just go ahead and start knocking this out. Let's go ahead and try to see if we're gonna move that fender.
All right, guys, so we just got all the plastic stuff off of the engine bay. So we actually have access to all the fender bolts right there. As you guys can see, this whole thing is pretty much one piece. That's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know, maybe, hold up. No, actually, it's not one piece. This little rubber thing's holding it all together. But, uh, hey, I mean, I might as well just leave it on there. Complete the look. Looks pretty dope, not gonna lie. Pretty much just remove the, the, weather guard, the weather stripping out of the way towards the middle. Now we have access to all the bolts. Let's go ahead and just knock it out on this side. And then we'll probably have to remove this bumper as well. Knock out the bolts underneath there. And at least all that's freed up and then to figure out what's going on in the back. Alright guys, so now we have this fender on. Um, again, I'm not gonna put the grill in yet, just yet. I might actually wrap that chrome piece black in today's video. I might slap it on depending on how easy it is to remove it. We'll probably end up slapping it on because it'll look a lot better. This is looking pretty bad. So yeah, we'll end up slapping it on. We'll wrap it, slap it on, see how it looks. But meantime, we have this fender on. Before I start bolting together the rest of this, let's go ahead and reach my hand back there and try to put in the fog lights. Let's go ahead and try to do that real quick. All right, guys, this fender is entirely on, fully bolted all the way around. Gaps are looking really good. Door opens up absolutely perfect, closes perfectly. So I am super happy with the fitment, even when the hood closes, super good. Right here as well, nice and flush. So we will go ahead and wrap that, but let's go ahead and wait for that in the end. Let's, meantime, let's go ahead and knock out this fender. I wanna do both fenders fully assembled. Oh yeah, and also don't forget, I also put in the fog light there. So we have the fog light in that side. So while we're doing this fender, we're also knocking this fog light. Two birds with one stone. Actually guys, before we actually get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break. Yeah, I don't know where I just got some Food, Greek yogurt, cheese stick. I'm gonna get my water as well. Your man's been working on his game, so uh, I've been getting things set up around here and I just finished up this fender all in within two hours. So hopefully we'll knock out this other fender within 30 to 45 minutes. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a little snack break. Make sure we're not missing out any of our protein. This little Greek yogurt has over 12 grams of protein, which is pretty insane. But anywho, I'm gonna go upstairs, chill for a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'll see you guys in about 10 to 15 minutes. That was a pretty good snack break. Uh, let's go ahead and knock out this fender. All right, guys, fender is a little bit dirty, but everything lined up perfectly as I was putting it on. Like literally, I didn't even have to work on any of the gap. It literally just gapped itself. That is super sick, super nice, super easy to install. I pretty much screwed it in as it is. Let's go ahead and just see if the fitment's any good. Go ahead and drop the hood. All right, so um, looking at this, no, the fender definitely needs to come in a little more compared to this side. This side's a lot more flush, and this might need to come out just a little bit. So let's just go ahead and adjust this real quick. All right, guys, and just like that, check out that fitment. Pretty good all the way up. Just this little dent here because of the hood. We will get that fixed, hopefully, before painting or wrapping. Uh, but anyways, the rest of the fender is pretty good. This gap right here is the exact same on the other side. And this was here on the original fender. I think it's the hood. Or maybe I need to move the hood a little bit back. Maybe that's what I need to do because but this is perfect right here. That hood gap was already there, so uh, I feel like it's kind of normal. To be honest, I feel like that's normal. Anywho, super happy in how this came out. These grills definitely need to go in. They just, I, I can't leave them off. They look so bad without them on. So before we actually wrap the grills, I do need to wash myself and get cleaned up to do, to do any wrapping work. So before I actually do that, I realized that I need to relocate my JB4. I put my JB4 on this side. I need to relocate it to that side. So um, let's just go ahead and put on full time last mode, move my JB4 over. The reason is for that is because of, uh, there's a sensor right here 
this blue wire, I didn't plug into anything. And just like that, guys, uh, the NGB is fully back assembled. Uh, fenders are looking really good. Fitment and everything, super happy about that. I went ahead and also relocated the JB4 to this side instead of that side and connected the boost solenoid. So this car should be pushing maximum boost, which is gonna be really nice. So yeah, we just went ahead and knocked out so many things today, completely front end transformation. Um, let's go ahead and knock out that antenna real quick. I really wanna get that done. And then after the antenna, we'll go ahead and just start wrapping these grills. So uh, we're knocking out so many things. Let's get to it, boys. I love this. So if you guys look at these two, they look pretty much identical. Yep, they're identical, which is perfect. This came off a of 7 Series, 5 Series, but they look the exact same. And the model numbers are the exact same. So, uh... That's what I, why I went ahead and ordered this. If you guys look at the top, this is the piece that broke off, so we're gonna go ahead and install this guy. Before I actually start wrapping the actual trim pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and just package up my two fenders uh, just so I know they're safe and I can get them out of the way. I like my area being cleaned up, so let's just go ahead and just clean this. Let's go ahead and fix all this. Now that we have both fenders pretty much repackaged up, well, not repackaged, these are the original ones, I realized that both sides have the exact same Bondo patch. So maybe this is not Bondo, maybe this is something else. It just looks like Bondo. Maybe this is Weld. I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, but they have it on both sides, so I'm assuming this is a factory thing because how do both sides exactly have the exact same thing? So, uh, all right, guys, now the antenna's on, the fenders are all set up. I was gonna go ahead and wrap these and throw them on, but since the, none of the car is wrapped anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these things on. Hopefully it's not gonna be a pain to remove, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side first, remove it, put it on, remove it, and if I can handle it, then I'll install the other side because the other side has the tank, so worst comes to worst, it'll be such a pain to pop it out from the back. This one, the fender, the fender guard is right here. It'd be super easy to pop it out from the back, but that side, oh boy. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and just see, does it just pop in and will it just come out with the right amount of force? We're about to see. And also, can I use the original harness? Because it came with this aftermarket harness that comes with some fuse tappers or basically some line taps. So I'm wondering um, if I have to use these connectors or I can use this. I can use the stock connector. So we're about to find out. I'm using the, the hazards. It's not working. So I guess we do have to tap it in. Luckily, they gave us some tappers, so it's super easy to do. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you actually tap in with these things. So, basically, the two connectors that come originally on the side marker needs to get tapped into this one. So all you have to do, really, is uh, grab one of these and put it into one of the wires. It'll look something like this. Basically, it's just inside the wire, as you guys can see. You wanna do one to each side, but we're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and do one at a time. Um, so looking at it from the top end view, the blue one is the outer and the purple is the inner. So the black is the outer and the red is the inner. So we're gonna go ahead and tap this with the black since that's the outer. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black one, put it in here, put it all the way through, holding that in there. Now you need something to kind of press it down. So once you have the black wire in there, go ahead and use anything like some pliers or something and just press down this, this metal thing right in the middle. All right, just like that guys, I went ahead and pressed it down all the way. Super easy to do honestly. And then go ahead and just cap that off just like that. You guys can see the black wire is connected um, to the inner. So inner to inner. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing with the, the red one. All right, guys, now they have both of them connected. Uh, before I actually start putting this all together, I'm just gonna let it hang and uh, go ahead and use the hazards again. Okay, I don't know why that doesn't wanna work. I'm gonna go ahead and do the opposite on the other side. Let's see what's going on here. All right, I connected this to the stock harness and it's working. Um, can I just, yeah, I think I could just go ahead and bolt this in. So let me just go ahead and bolt that in. It is working. I don't know why the other one isn't. I think the other one could be bad. That's unfortunate. Maybe the actual light or LED strip has gone bad on the other side. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, well, it is what it is. This side's working. I guess I'll just go ahead and pop it in. Just like that. And uh, yeah, this side's in and it's working. So honestly, I'm not even gonna tap in or anything. You don't need to, it works. So wow, that sucks. The other side isn't working, damn. All right guys, we went ahead and installed this side and the fender. We went ahead and rearranged the JB4. We put in the fog lights and connected them. We're gonna have to test out and see if those work in a little bit. This fender's on. This one's working, everything's good on this side. We got the antenna back on the car. This car really needs a paint match at this point. It's super filthy and it's just so many colors. We have gray, silver, black, chrome, all gotta go. All these colors has gotta go. So I think the next step is ordering some wrap or taking it down to the paint shop. The thing is a lot of you guys are saying just get, get it wrapped. So I think I'm gonna stick to getting it wrapped. So 
Again, um, Nardo Grand, fortunately, they're sold out everywhere that I know. Bayside Blue is out. Should I just go with some kind of blue? Do you guys think that's cool? Because you guys said Bayside Blue, I think it's like the second top color, but Bayside Blue is also pretty much, and they don't actually have Bayside Blue, but it's like Marina, Merino, and those are both like sold out. So, um, should I go with some other blue? Probably something like along those lines let me know down below but yeah without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this it is uh i think i've been working for about like six to seven hours in total been a long day but uh we got so much things fixed on this car i'm gonna go ahead and just take it out for a quick little spin and put some gas in it but uh that's the end of this video i gotta clean up this garage for my dad that also gets upset but um meantime we do have a lot of goodies that just came in for the n54 that all that stuff's for the 135 that is the full kit to get this car to at least five to 600 horsepower. And then as soon as we achieve that, we'll take it to the track, do a bunch of cool little stuff. But guys, there's so many things in those boxes, you guys won't, won't even believe. It's a lot of mini things, but adds so much power, so much performance, and such good sound. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to smash the like button, 1,500 likes, and I will try to get that video out as soon as possible for you guys. Also, if you guys wanna be featured on the F10 plaque, a lot of you guys have already entered, but if you guys wanna be featured in the F10 plaque, make sure to cop the crate link down below. You guys' names will be featured on the plaque for everyone that purchases a crate. If you guys have already purchased a crate, you guys, you guys' names are already gonna be on there. But yeah, if you guys purchase a crate, you guys' names are gonna be on the plaque, and I'll shout you guys out in the next video. Further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.